Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today is part two of the differences between New Zealand and the US. So if you haven't seen part one, make sure that you watch that one as well. They don't need to be watched in order, but there is a part one that has some really good content in it as well. And if you haven't been following me on TikTok over this last year, check me out at Kiwi Americans where I talk a lot about the differences living in New Zealand compared to the US. So today's gonna to be good. In fact, I think I'm gonna have enough content to come up with a part three. So you wanna subscribe below and hit the bell because there's gonna be another part to this, but you're gonna love this. Here we go. In New Zealand, they eat often. Like I said in my first video, they have morning tea, which includes food, afternoon tea, which includes food, then they have dinner, and then they have sometimes pudding later on at night where they have like another dessert before they go to bed. So in New Zealand, you feel like you're eating all the time or you're taking a break, whether you're in school or at work, it's just very normal for people to say, let's take a break for afternoon tea or morning tea, or let's go get something to eat. And you feel like you're eating often. But in the US, <laughs> you don't eat as often, but you eat huge portion sizes compared to what you get in New Zealand. So there's a big difference in portion size in the US compared to New Zealand. But in New Zealand, you're just eating many smaller meals throughout the day. And like even when you're eating like dinner in New Zealand, it's not as like there's not as many choices. Like you'll just have a wrap. Uh, whereas in the US, you would always have like a meat and a potato and a vegetable. Whereas here, it's just one item because you know what? You've been eating all day. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, so you eat more in the US probably because your portion size are bigger, but you eat more often in New Zealand. In New Zealand, you have a product called golden syrup. This is not a product that I've ever seen in the US. It's similar to molasses, but not the same. They have golden syrup. It's like the brown sugar of syrups. It's made from sugar cane. It's not as sweet as like our corn syrup in the US, but it is used in a lot of recipes. And it's just a very common product to use in baking in New Zealand that you just don't see in the US. But in the US, we all know what we got. We got corn syrup. We got high fructose corn syrup that's in all of our snacked processed foods. <laughs> it is not allowed in New Zealand, in Europe, in Australia, in a lot of countries because it's not good for you. But in all the US snacks, we have high fructose corn syrup. So make sure you check the labels when you're in the States if you don't wanna eat that because it's in a lot of food in the US. In New Zealand, it is very common for people to walk barefoot. Yes, you will see people walking into stores barefoot, fish and chip shops, just walking to school and in school, in churches, barefoot. It's okay and normal. People just walk around with no shoes on. In the US, that doesn't exist. It's very common to see signs in the stores windows that say no shirt, no shoes, no service. So make sure that you have shoes if you're a New Zealander visiting the US because you must wear shoes, but it's really an adjustment when you are an American walking around New Zealand and people are just walking around with no shoes on. Now they can do that here because there are no pests. There are no like, uh, there's not really deadly insects and spiders and stuff walking around to get your feet. So you can, Let's, don't do that in Australia. That's a different country. That's a different situation. Don't do that in Australia, but in New Zealand, it is, there's a lot, there's not a lot of pests. <laughs> it is pest free mostly, and you can walk barefoot wherever you go. In New Zealand, when they say, would you like a biscuit? They are referring to a cookie type item, okay? The biscuits in New Zealand are cookies, but if they say, do you want a cookie in New Zealand? They're actually meaning chocolate chip cookies. So they're the only cookie that's called cookie, the chocolate chip ones. But if you're in the US and someone offers you a biscuit, you are not getting a sweet cookie. You are getting a savory, flaky, moist, delicious, bready item. And it's so good, the biscuits. And it's savory, it's not sweet in the US. So the biscuits are so good and they are Okay, guys, similar to scones, but they are not scones and they are not, they are flakier 
and they're kind of crispy on the outside, moist on the inside, and they have a different taste than scones. I get this question a lot and a lot of arguments saying it's the same thing. If you want to check out, I have a video on my YouTube, I'll link it here, that shows you how to make biscuits and gravy, which is a common food in the US. Uh, and you can see the difference and how they're made a little bit different than scones. In the US, they play American football. In New Zealand, they play rugby. These are the two most popular sports in each country. Now, when you play rugby in New Zealand, it's different because they pass the ball backwards. And when they score, it's called a try. And they don't wear all of the padding. They just ram into each other without pads on. <laughs> and it's amazing. It is a amazingly athletic sport. Now they do have rugby in the US. It is not as big as it is here in New Zealand. It is growing in the US and it is an amazing sport and it's super great to watch. So if you've never watched a rugby game, if you're American, check it out. Now in the US, we have American football and that is played in high schools, at the college level, at the professional level, and they wear pads and it's different. They pass the ball forward and when they score, it's called a touchdown. So a little bit of different lingo. It is two different games, obviously, but it's similar. They're similar games. But yeah, so rugby is the most popular in New Zealand. American football is the most popular in the US. So check them out if you've never tried. In New Zealand, refills on soft drinks are not allowed. They don't have free refills in New Zealand. They do in the American fast food restaurant. So in some Burger King, some McDonald's, that sort of thing, you can get the free refills. But there is, I don't know of any uh, New Zealand restaurant that offers free refills. So you do not get free refills on your soft drinks here. And they're much more expensive. So if you're gonna like buy a soft drink, it can be like three or four dollars for a soft drink. Whereas in the US, it's much cheaper. It's half that probably. And then in the US, they have refills everywhere. So like, not just in fast food, in bars, there's a, sometimes when there's a bar that it isn't refills, but if you're going to a restaurant and you sit down, almost everything is free refills when we're talking about soft drinks or fizzy drinks, as they say in New Zealand. Yes, they call soda fizzy drinks here in New Zealand. And I was here for two years before I realized that that's what they were talking about. When they're talking about fizzy drink, I just thought it was like a completely different drink, but it's actually just soda. And another little tip for you is Sprite in New Zealand is called lemonade. Yeah. So if you have gin and lemonade, it's actually gin and Sprite. Just another handy tip for you. So yeah, there are refills everywhere in the US, but they also give you huge cups too. Like, first of all, how do you even drink all that and then need a refill? <laughs> but yeah, so free refills in the US and not free refills in New Zealand. In New Zealand, if someone says, hey, I'm gonna shout you a coffee, they're not yelling at you. <laughs> I remember the first time someone said this to me, I was like, do you want me to shout you, you want me to yell at you? <laughs> it was so confusing. Shout a coffee means I will buy you a coffee here in New Zealand. And New Zealand coffee is amazing. The cafes are amazing and all of their coffee is so good. And they make some of the coffee different. Their most common drink is the flat white, but the way that they make their mocha, so good. I should talk about this. On it. Okay, so this is how they make their mocha. They actually put the chocolate powder or the chocolate syrup in the milk when they're steaming the milk. And it just melts into this beautiful dream that then goes into the coffee and so much better. Why don't they do that in America? They just put the syrup right into the coffee after it's made. I don't know why they do it that way, but the, the mochaccinos here are so good. And speaking of coffee, like what are they even drinking in the US? Once you come to New Zealand and you taste really good coffee, oh my gosh, and you realize that Starbucks burns her beans and their coffee isn't actually good. That's why you always buy it with so much sugar in it. <laughs> uh, that it's so, I don't know what they're drinking in the US. They drink this drip coffee and you have to drink a lot of it. So if you notice like Americans will have really big cups of coffee and then when you come to New Zealand and they're like, this is all I get, I get this little thing of coffee because you don't need any more than that because you're actually drinking straw coffee. <laughs> like you get as much caffeine in this amount as you're getting in these multiple, multiple cups of whatever the drippy tar 
coffee you're drinking <laughs> in the US. It's not good. Now there's plenty of cafes if you're in the bigger cities that have espresso. Please note that in New Zealand you get two shots of espresso with any coffee in New Zealand, whereas in the US you get one shot and you have to pay 50 cents for another shot. So it's a quite a bit of a less caffeine if you're looking <laughs> for that caffeine kick. So that's why you see Americans with these huge coffee because, cups because their coffee isn't that strong. It's just drip coffee. It's just, you know, coffee through the filter and it's not even French press or the plunger type pushing it through makes it stronger. They don't even do that. It's not very strong. So they have to drink lots of coffee. So in summary, I always talk too much when I talk about coffee. <laughs> the coffee in New Zealand is so good. Every coffee that you order is two shots of espresso. They're in small cups because they're strong enough. You don't need more than that. And their flat white is the most common and their mochaccino is so good. In the US, they have drip coffee. They don't have really a lot of cafes other than Starbucks, um, commonly around the whole country. And yeah, it's not that good. Like even when you go into a diner, it's, you know, and then they have the coffee creamer. So everybody puts coffee creamer in their coffee in the US and they don't have that here. They don't have coffee creamer here because they don't need to. Their coffee is so good. The coffee creamer though in the US is really nice, <laughs> uh, but it just adds a lot of delicious flavor to your coffee, French vanilla, hazelnut, cinnamon, whatever you kind of feel like. So coffee creamer is very popular because coffee honestly isn't that good in the US. So you all must come to New Zealand and check out how good the coffee is. In New Zealand, they have ice cream at movie theaters. What a brilliant idea. They have like this, they make up the cone, they put like two uh, scoops of ice cream on it and they like frost freeze it. So you go up there and you buy your movie tickets and then they, and you can buy an ice cream cone to eat while you're watching a movie. This does not happen in the US. I mean, maybe some places, but it's not common. In the US though, you can buy nachos to go into the movies. You can buy hot dog and you can buy the biggest cups of popcorn that you've ever seen, these buckets are like this big. And if you buy the big bucket, it gives you free refills. And if you buy the biggest soda, you get the free refills because you're gonna need more after eating that. So sometimes when we do that, we would buy the big bucket and the big soda and it feeds the whole family <laughs> for dinner. And then we refill it up and bring it home. And there you go. The US always giving you <laughs> free refills on things when you buy the big stuff. So yeah. So ice cream in movie theaters in New Zealand, but nachos and big old popcorn when you're in the US. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. Uh, this is part two of the differences between New Zealand and the US. So make sure that you check out part one. I will have it on the next screen and stay tuned for part three. So subscribe below, hit the bell, and we will see you next week.